Good morning, everybody. It is not morning, I think it's like 11 o'clock, but um, I forced myself to get out of bed at like 10 today. It was so bad, but I've not been able to sleep until probably like half four in the morning recently. I don't know why, because I put my phone down, I put on like meditation music and sleep music and all of this stuff to try and relax, but I even put my lavender diffuser on, but I just can't sleep until like four, probably even later than that, probably like five the sun actually starts to rise which is so depressing but yeah so hopefully tonight i'm gonna be super tired anyway on my agenda today i have a few options i haven't decided what to do yet but i thought about building my bed and i originally was going to wait to build my bed and so when i got the carpets changed it was just a bit easier but it's looking like the carpets won't be changed for at least like a month now I'm kind of wanting to make a bit of progress with this place because I've not really done much to it yet. So yeah, I'm thinking about building my bed, but I don't know if I'm going to need a spare set of hands for that. So I'm not sure whether to just wait a week or something. But I also need to go to the office at some point today. I usually prefer going at night though, just because no one's there. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I really can't decide what to do first, to be honest. I could go to the gym i've joined a new gym and it's kind of like a spa gym and i'm really excited to go to be honest because it looks beautiful but yeah we'll just have to see <laughs> i need to stop holding my camera at like this angle that gives me a double chin i need to start holding it a bit higher because i have such a bad habit of that i don't even know how people hold their cameras normally when they do vlogs i've just thought that i have a few packages downstairs so i think i might go and pick those up because I have officially run out of clothes. <laughs> I honestly don't know how people on social media seem to have a new outfit every single day because I don't know about you guys, but I usually have one pair of black leggings <laughs> and then one really comfy hoodie and then I just wear that every day. And then occasionally I go for a meal and I wear something different, but <laughs> I just don't know how people have cool things to wear every day. Oh, some cheeky packages. That's really exciting. I'm probably just gonna try this stuff on and see if I've got anything to wear today. So I was just coming in here to grab my mirror and then I realized there is a Disney cruise outside. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, look, that's so cute. Disney magic. I didn't even know that there were Disney cruises. Disney magic. I saw this come in last night actually. Ooh, some new PJs. Love that. I love the colour of these. They're like little cheetah PJs. Hee hee. Um, <laughs> I've been on such a pyjama buying spree recently. I think I kind of realised that now that I have a home I should probably dress a bit more adult. Because um, I usually just used to wear a massive t-shirt and I've worn that since I was young <laughs> so i've been buying some like nice pjs and nice slippers and stuff to kind of make myself feel like i don't know just a bit more elegant <laughs> i mean definitely not for today's heat but very cute <laughs> so i've actually decided to go to the gym i just put a teensy bit of makeup on but i've got no foundation on which is actually incredible i'm just so grateful for my skin at the moment it just looks so good <laughs> Oh, I've come so far. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is a new gym that I'm going to. So I'm a bit nervous because you guys probably know, like, a new gym is just so scary because you don't know where anything is. I don't even know, like, where the entrance is or, like, anything. So I'm a bit nervous. And it is only, like, one o'clock here. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be very busy. <laughs> so, yeah. So I've ended up going with a baggy t-shirt <laughs> and some leggings. I know I was saying that I want to get out of the baggy t-shirt thing, but this is kind of my, I haven't been consistent with my training, so I'm covering my bum <laughs> outfit. <laughs> so I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but there are these builders right outside my apartment block. And because I've lived there for like two years, it's literally been going on for like two years, but every time I used to walk outside, they would literally like shout at me, <laughs> especially if I'm wearing something nice. 
to be honest it used to happen a lot more because we did actually complain about them just to our concierge we didn't technically complain to the management company but we just said something to our concierge like the receptionist and um, yeah they basically had a word with the management company and um, to be fair when they did that it did stop a bit but you know when you can just tell someone's eyes are on you it used to be so bad like wolf whistling um, just making comments every single day like every day and um, it has stopped recently since we complained but when after I did complain I remember like the first day after I'd complained or something um, I was just walking past them and you know when you can just tell they're all staring at you even though they're not saying anything and then um, one of them was like oh what are you looking at and I was just I wasn't even looking at them I was looking straight down to the floor because I just didn't even want to look at them at all because obviously I wouldn't I, I just don't want to provoke them <laughs> and um, they'd obviously said that as in to be like you know we know that you <laughs> told on us kind of thing and I just don't understand like why builders think that that's okay it's quite like a an issue with <laughs> with builders I don't know why but I don't know if it's just because it tends to be like a big group of boys together or something I don't know but it's such a problem and I just don't understand why they think it's okay <laughs> I sometimes I wonder if they genuinely think I'm gonna go over and be like oh here's my number I remember this one time the concierge was telling me that um, the apparently the manager of the building company had come in and said to said to the concierge um can you tell the girls to put some clothes on <laughs> so and i remember saying to the concierge but that's weird because i never wear anything that's like you know i'm always just wearing joggers or something baggy so i don't understand why they why he would say that and then um the concierge was like no he means in your bedrooms <laughs> and i was just like Ugh, that is horrible what is wrong with people so obviously that was the time that I did complain about them being really pervy. I think next time it happens, I'm just going to get my phone out and start recording them and see what they do. Right, so I'm currently locked in the toilet because I'm too embarrassed to film in the gym, but I need to like take the plunge, but look how posh this is. That's the wash basin, my handbag. I have a feeling this is gonna be the nicest gym I've ever been to. All of these doors are automatic. I don't know what's going on. So this place is actually really, really beautiful. It's probably the best gym that I've ever been to. It's really like posh and nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off with some deadlifts, warm up and then work up. gym. <laughs> oh, it's a shame I can't drink. <laughs> oh my god, my legs. This is no joke. Ooh. So I just got back, but me and Sarah are going to go and sit in the sunshine because it's such a beautiful day outside and it would be such a shame to not make the most of it. 
Have any of you guys had a bubble tea before? Because they are honestly so scrumptious. Ah, so I'm home and it is 6 p.m. now. So time to start some work because <laughs> I haven't done any all day. So, um, oh, is there anything worse than trying on loads of clothes and your bedroom looks like this after? I mean, I could do with tidying my room, but I don't want to. <laughs> I've just sat myself down with a of tea in my harry potter mug and my laptop and i'm just gonna try and get some work done i'm not even out of my gym clothes yet i've just kind of sat on top of my bed usually this grosses me out but today as long as i'm on top of the sheets it's fine <laughs> i just don't like outside germs in my sheets do you know what i mean but ah. honestly every time i tap my phone i have like 50 notifications because <laughs> we have um so many group chats with all our manufacturers discussing products constantly and same with my like business whatsapp it's always popping off and everything <laughs> but um yeah anyway so one thing i need ooh. one thing i need to fix is this bar along here because it tends to look fine when i'm zoomed out like that but when as soon as i start zooming like smaller it just messes up a bit and it just looks a bit crap so I'm going to try and sort that out and yeah just like a few other things on the website and then I need to go through some samples and just like general work stuff oh it's too late to call people now but I should have made some calls today but I'll have to do that tomorrow a few things that we need to run through for our marketing we also have a shoot next week so I need to send over like packs of the plan basically what we're going to do we need to liaise with the photographer and the models and I need to actually make a plan of what sequence and what outfits we're shooting, what reels we're making, Instagram content, website content, ads. <laughs> wow my brain is going to explode. <laughs> so anyway I'm just going to drink my cup of tea and try and sort out some of my work. It's like 10 p.m. now. I'm tired. Um, but I wanted to ask your guys' help on something, like home-wise. <laughs> so this room here, I'm stripping all the wallpaper off. They're coming next week, so ignore the wallpaper. So this room here, I'm not really sure what to do with because. I was gonna have it as like an office kind of chill sofa room I guess because there's a sofa in here but then that is a sofa bed so I'm gonna have guests guests <laughs> stay on that sofa bed um because I thought it was a waste to make the other room into a spare room because I just never use it so anyway I'm not really sure what to do with the room because it's a bit awkward having the telly there and because obviously if you're sat on the sofa you can't watch the telly but I think it would look weird to take the telly off because that whole centerpiece is kind of revolved around the telly it does actually have like one of those brackets on that comes out but even then when it's here it's still at a bit of an awkward angle so I'm not sure what to do because obviously if I turn the sofa so it's kind of facing the telly it's just a bit of a shame to have your back to the view so yeah, I'm just not a bit, not very sure at the moment. I was thinking like, I mean originally they had the sofa there and then like a desk in this bit. I'm just, I'm not sure how to like structure it. <laughs> so I was just wondering if anyone had any idea. So you can just let me know. I'm also not sure what to do on like that bit of space because that's a bit empty. And then finally, I'm not sure what to do with this big wooden centerpiece because it's absolutely beautiful but I'm not sure whether to have it spray painted um, either black or white I'm just gonna have to see what the room looks like when I've got a bit more furniture and the walls aren't like that but yeah I'm not really sure I was also thinking like because this is technically gonna be a bedroom <laughs> for when guests stay I'm not sure whether to put in some like giant um, doors or something just because then obviously it would create some privacy if I'm sat here 
it just seems like there's not much to look at because you're looking at the wall so I'm not sure what to put on that opposite wall I'm not sure where to put my desk ah this little diffuser thing I got from Amazon is absolutely beautiful I'm loving it so much it's kind of like this glass figure thing it looks better when it's in the dark there you go did you see um I'm trying to focus it so it's it is so beautiful and it smells so oh I didn't know it went red what the hell oh I didn't know you could change the color that's cool I also got a new tree it's a dragon tree I think a dragon tree yeah how cute is that I've always wanted one of these like weird these weird trees I need to get a pot for it because I haven't been able to water it yet because you need um it needs to drain otherwise it'll just go on the floor and then I still haven't stuck up my trellis yet which has all the fairy lights on it I was gonna put that outside on those um glass panels but I'm waiting to get the deck sanded and stained first because I have a feeling it will just interfere along the bottom and it will get caught and probably ruined. <laughs> so I'm going to wait until I get my decking done so I can put that up and that's all good. I have no furniture <laughs> but my sofa is coming in three weeks, two weeks I think. Three or, three or two, I can't remember. I think my bedroom is still probably my favourite room just because it's so beautiful. I love the sunset, such a good vibe. So guys, I think that I'm going to clock out for the night because I've been pretty hectic with all these vlogs going on. <laughs> hopefully I can keep it up because I'm enjoying it, so hopefully. Um, but anyway, I hope this was not too boring because I'm really enjoying doing my vlogs, so yeah. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, um, if you'd like to see more like focused videos or more like relaxed style like this or yeah just let me know <laughs> okay then i'll see you soon bye